Welcome to Kickstart, the only show that reviews Kickstarters, Indiegogos, and other crowdfunded projects. I'm Conrad. I'm Graham. And that's Peter on camera today. Oh, nice. It's Peter's in the house. Peter's <laughs> in the house. Oh, I got a good setup for you, man. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And uh, I, think, I think we need to make it a special episode. Can we do something really cool? Yeah, yeah, this NFC ring. This is uh, it's pretty awesome. You want to you just take it? You go. Okay, it's a near field communicator you, that you have on your hand. Basically, you can use this to unlock doors, uh, unlock your phone, and uh, transfer your information to someone else's phone. The via, girls of the club? You know? Via town. Boom. It's amazing to me no one's thought of this yet. I mean, it's like, oh my god, like, you've seen like, the list of, like, the list of uh, computer sites and reviews and everything that everybody's got their hands on already. It's like amazing. I can't even mm -hmm. fathom why no one's thought of this yet. I mean, you know, it's and it's cheap. It's a piece of metal and a little two antennas, and that's all it is. It's under twenty pounds. No bat, no batteries. It's gonna last you for forever. Right, right. And that's amazing to me. So I didn't understand how it didn't have batteries, but I started looking into it, and it's just like a, it just carries the data on it. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess it was on the app. You can add it. You add whatever data you want to. Like there's a public side and a private side, so you can do different things for your phone or uh, whatnot. Or if you want to give your information to somebody at like um at a club or just in passing you just tap their phone and send your Twitter information or something like that. It's pretty cool. Um, and I have no, no very many cons to it. I think that the security, I have a lot of questions about the security of it. You know, like... Yeah, Peter, you were talking about that earlier. What do you think? Yeah, I was wondering, like, if it's, no, if it's not much different than a credit card, which, of course, you keep your credit card, it's a lot harder to steal someone's credit card information once they pull it out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so, but you've got this ring out, so if, I would think it would be easy for someone to have a scanner to scan your information and then go unlock your phone or unlock your house or unlock whatever you've been bragging about to the bar that you can use this ring to do. Right. Which, of course, we would. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, oh, yeah. Any nerd. We'd be, we'd be that guy at the bar, like, oh, look up my uh, phone where I unlock it, and now, uh, Oh, now you have all my information. <laughs> and if you're a single guy, you won't be able to figure out why no one's, why no girl's talking to you really. And really, they think you're married because you have that ring on the whole time at the club. You know Although what I mean? In the video, it was their middle finger. Oh, okay. It okay. showed that you use them on the middle finger. So I don't know if that's important to always. Yeah, well, I mean, always, always use your middle finger. Always, always. Yeah. But I thought, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I think that obviously it's kind of like Bluetooth. I know NFC, you have to like pair it. I know like the Samsung phones, that was a big thing, you like half of each other, you send your information over. Well, I'm pretty sure with an NFC ring, it's, uh, the secure side has like a, an NFC number imprinted on it. Okay. And then you have your phone say, when you, you, when you find this NFC number, then you do whatever I've told you to do. So you're like internet at like a cashier? Like they'd be like, what's your NFC number? You put your, like say you have your credit card number only on your ring. I'm just trying to make sure I understand this right. So you have your credit card number on your ring, you walk over here, I want to pay right now, boom. Yeah, they would go, what's your NFC number to prove that you're actually... I'm not sure if that's how it works. I know like when you're unlocking your phone, that's, that's, that's how, how it works. works. Okay, that's pretty neat. It's kind of like, so you have to pair it. The private stuff you have to pair. The public data is just, you can share. Mm -hmm. easy. That's neat. That's awesome. Um, I thought the coolest part though was the price. Like the price, like super cheap. It's like under, it's, it's a 10 pounds, but it's like 25 pounds or less. And it was shipping and everything. That's um, And that's for the ring and everything. If you, I think it's eight pounds. You're gonna get really. If you can print your own ring. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You can 3D print your own ring. They'll send you the end light and just chunk it in there. And there you go, done. Yeah. Probably not. Like I don't think you put it into an existing ring. I don't know if you put it into an existing ring, but you could probably put it onto like a new ring. Or right. Onto a jeweler, and you're like, I need this space in the ring for whatever. Oh yeah, they can dremel it out or whatever they need to do. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what about other uses for it? So I know we, clearly you could uh, unlock your phone. Pretty neat. Um, but you also can do like your face and type in a code, it doesn't cost $20, you know. Well, I was um, thinking, I was thinking in the future, you know, you're gonna have this paired up with your car. It's like, yeah. it's like you touch your car door and your car unlocks, you grab the handle and it starts the engine for you. Like, mm. I think that'd be pretty cool. It, it, that's kind of what cars, they already have like RF stuff where you like your key ring, while it's in the car, your car, your car will turn on with the button. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same idea and that'd be awesome. That'd be neat, you know? Yeah. Um, I know, I've heard of people who have NFC rings and they use them to They'll go ahead and put one like in their car. They get in their car, they tap the NFC, it turns on their Bluetooth, it turns on their music, it syncs to the, the car. Oh, that's awesome. uh, you go to work and you have one on your desk at work and you tap that and it turns your phone on silent, turns off all the antennas. 
you know, go home, you'll tap it there and it turns on Wi-Fi, connects to your Wi-Fi and Sick. turns your volume on maximum. So there's actually some really cool things you can do with Right, this. right. Uh, but as far as like the ring, I mean, it's just going to be probably for just a month of things. Right, like your car, your house, I thought was pretty cool, the door locks, the NFT door locks. I would think that if, what they need to definitely make is, I know they already have uh, replica green lanterns, but they need to make one that you could put the ring up to and it lights up. Oh, that sick. is awesome. Yeah. That's good, yeah. <laughs> that is the best idea. Yeah. yeah. That would be <laughs> But they have them. Right. But they, they need, you need to be able to use this, because this looks like something that, yeah, really this like ring, it. this looks pretty cool. You want to be able to right on. No, light that up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be awesome. I think it's pretty awesome that we're putting these on rings. I can't wait to like, they're actually in your skin though. And then you yeah. can't, but then, <laughs> but, then, but, then, but then you can't get an MRI anymore. Mm. I would still rather have someone steal my ring than cut my finger off like that. Yeah. <laughs> you need a fingerprint of somebody. I wish I was important enough to give up here and cut off. Well, that's true. I would never be that important. Yeah, and I was like, oh, one day, one day, I'll be that important. You don't want my finger? Come on. Come on, man. Let's do something. So I think this is basically just a formality, but you guys want to vote? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go first. I think it's awesome. I think it's a really cool, uh, somebody really thought about it and just made a really simple product that everyone's going to use. It's a really useful thing. You know, it's not in a ring form. They're gonna put it in other stuff, you know, that you already have on you, like your key ring or whatever else, you know. Pretty cool idea. Yeah, absolutely. Thumbs up 100% on board. Agreed. 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 So that's oh. it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank you, Boulevard, for uh, the single I or single wide IPA today. Awesome. Um, Delicious. Feel free to sponsor us whenever you'd like to. We'd love you too. Um, we're always open to sponsors. So. Always open for sponsors. Always, always. Especially ones that give us free booze. That would be. That's uh, be delightful. That's our end goal, really. Not making money. We just want free alcohol. Pretty much. Well, yeah. and, and maybe money. Money. We'll take money yeah. too. We'll, we'll, yeah. What does money mean? Money we more need alcohol. To time. discuss later in both. <laughs> <laughs> money is definitely. Your end is an idea, and no one else is on board. But it's okay, you know. Follow us at Twitter at the Vivify TV. Uh, uh, we're still trying to make Grant uh, open up a Facebook for us. Not gonna happen. More it's gonna. It's gonna happen. And. Uh, Oh, yeah, thanks for watching. VividLightTV.com or TheVividLight.com? Uh, it's both. It's both of them. It's the same place. You can use whatever you want. No one yeah, cares. VividLightTV.com. That's where it's at. So, again, I'm Conrad. I'm Grant. Peter. Oh, you... Ah, he introduced himself. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.